Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepy.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to request historical data from interactive brokers. In iBridgePy, there is a built-in function called request historical data. You can use this built-in function to request historical data from inter interactive brokers. So let's go to iBridgePy's API documentation to take a look about this function. So let's go to iBridgePy.com. Then what you need to do is click download iBridgePy documentation. And then scroll down to request historical data, this one. So the name of this function is called request historical data. It, it takes a few input parameters. Three parameters are required. The first one is security. Security means you need to tell what kind of security you want to request historical data from uh, for, actually. Bar size. Bar size, uh, interactive brokers provide a wide range of bar size for our users. Typical one, typically, we use million bar, hourly bar, or daily bar. Go back. Go back means from the current time, how many, how many bars you want to go back, actually. So the valid number will be an integer followed by a space. Then depends on how, how many days, how many times you want to go back. For example, if you want to go back a few seconds, then you put capital S. D stands for days, W for weeks, M for month, Y for years. Other parameters are optional. We can talk about it later. So let's give you a demo. So let's switch to average pie. I have an example called example demo.py. In this demo file, we have two functions. The initialize function, let's put SPY for uh, SP500 uh, ETF to track uh, SP500 index. In handle data, we put the function request historical data to request SPY. I want daily data, so I put one day as a string. I want to go back for five days, so I put 5D, capital D. D stands for day. Then I want to print, print hist, then n. As simple as that. So we have uh, IB Gateway get connected already. Then we go to runme.py and click run. So you can see it print out historical data. The return of this function is a pandas data frame. The index is the time, either date or date time. So right now I'm requesting daily data, so the index is date. The columns are included are open, high, low, close, volume. The other demo I want to give you is to request the minion data. If you want to request the minion data, you can simply change this one to 
one M I N. And for example, I want to go back for five minutes. Five minutes, I cannot use day here. I need to use second. So five minutes become 300 seconds. And then go back to runme.py, click run file. So you can see this time, the time index changed from date to time with time zone here. And you can see because the US market closed at uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon, so the latest minute bar is 3.59 in the afternoon. Of course, you can change it to, for example, you can change to one day. Let's save it for one day. So it's pretty long so that it print out actually there are uh, 390 rows. It's pretty long. It will take a little bit of time to download the historical data from IB server. However, if you want to change one year, it won't work because IB does not allow that much uh, historical data. Let's try to switch to one year. Try to run it. Oh, it takes a while because it's minion bar. Go back one year, it's a lot of data actually. really take a long time. The following request, oh, I, I can see. IB server does not allow to download minion, minion bar go back to one year. That's why it failed. The next topic is to save historical data to a local CSV file so that you can analyze data offline. In average pi, it's pretty simple because the return, the hist is in the format of panda data frame. So to save a panda data frame, what you can do is so hist is a panda data frame. If you put dot to CSV, this is provided from pandas. Uh, framework. Then you need to give a path to the file where you want to save. I want to save it to my desktop. So I put desktop. I want to call it hist.csv. I just put file name here. However, it looks a little bit strange. I put double slash here. Actually, is the other way of the slash. So I put this way, this way, this way. The reason for that is in Windows system, I need to, if I just put one slash, it will complain because slash is a escape character. So I need to, it's a special character actually, slash is a special character so that I need another slash to escape the special character. So save this file, switch to runme.py, and click run. It will print out, and then we go to the desktop. You can see there is a CSV file saved. Let's open it. So the data is here. Index, column name, and numbers. If we switch to API documentation, it says 
IB's historical data is adjusted for splits, but not dividends. So you need to keep it in mind. Holidays and weekends are not included in the return data format. Let's restart the kernel, give you another demo. So no data permission. Let's switch to the file. Let's change it to Tesla. Tesla. And I just want to print. Go to runme.py. I have a Tesla about Microsoft. Oh, I have my Microsoft. So actually, if you see no data permission, let's switch this to file. If you actually, if you see a no data permission. What you really need to do is to purchase the real-time package from Interactive Broker. What you need to do is to log in to your account and then go to Settings, click User Settings. Then it will show up a page looks like this. Go to Trading Platform. You will see Market Data Subscriptions. Then click this config button, this one. Then you will be directed to a page. Show It shows you what your current subscriptions. As you can see, I have purchased uh, NYSE American etc. exchange. I pay $1.50 per month. That's all I have purchased. If you see no data permission, which means you have not purchased that real-time uh, real price package from IB, what you need to do is click this config button. You will be directed to this page, actually. Then based on uh, what kind of data package you want to purchase, you can go to this each tab to purchase to purchase them if you are not sure which package is best for you you can call ib representative and they are happy to help you to choose the package you need thank you very much for any questions please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com if you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known Render Coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.